is there are plenty of people. other channels yeah, out there, television, great. and other and so internet channels out there where you can multicast, where you can actually so fucking literally broadcast in real time to hundreds of millions. Uh, I did a press conference that we called exposing the book ban hoax. And before I had the parents come up, before I spoke, I just played the video that had the images of the book. Why don't you stream on radio? Because I'm on a platform that allows me to fucking reach out to hundreds of thousands of people in real time without interruptions. It too graphic. Unless well, it's the top of the hour ad break. Six o'clock news. How is it okay? Which comes at the top of every hour, but you can pay and so not eight dollars, but five dollars a month, ensuring that we to avoid said interactions. Uh, that said, are consistent with state standards and on the the, the racial history interruption eliminated critical race theory from our k-12 through schools that was the right thing to do in other words we're not going to take a kid who comes in um at six years old and say they're an oppressor or oppressed based on what their race you can is. also that's get it for free for, with the dish prime we're also not going to be teaching or get gifted a sub if you're lucky country, here's a three minute ad break now the accurate history so Dynamic Jab 13, thank you for the five gifted. And critical race theory, we Henry and or Hank, thank you for the five gifted. Teaching thoroughly about racial discrimination that occurred in American so history. So it's different? So breaking ground would be an okay thing to say? Require all of those so it's different, but you just don't care about the other factors? So it's different? Dude, you're different all of that from like a normal person uh, with an actively functioning brain. That. So I think what you see is you're so fucking the, stupid. The left, They're broadcasting the audio over Twitter, you fucking idiot. We can broadcast defend, audio and video in real time, and you fucking mentally stunted adolescent so diaper wearing dipshits can come in here and write shit back in real time and I can react in real time. In so it's not different, is it? It's just that no it's different because this doesn't fucking work. That's why it's different. The question is, is you fucking you idiot. God, trying to I hate the stupidity. It's not the racism. Uh, it's not the sexism. It's not the fucking homophobia. It's the stupidity that makes me go crazy. Like I'm Al Pacino in heat. Fuck. With your tight ass material in a fifth grade library 100 percent but it's also the case that if you're focusing on that type of, of instruction there's an opportunity cost involved why won't we why should we this is different the radio or math and so i think we're getting it right and i think as an old ass reverence many of you zoomers don't know i just too. watched it recently uh, when they're trying to craft these narratives if you just peel back the onion you realize um, that this is something they're manufacturing Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I, I mean, uh, I was actually under the impression that that uh, <laughs> there were some books banned, so this is news to me. Um, and they actually, there but, was a, the one this week was that Miami got a great ass. Took a book that was about like poems from um, from I think like Biden's inauguration, and they moved it um, from elementary school library to middle school library. The media tried to act like somehow this is being banned. And you actually had Miami-Dade County Public Schools spokesperson. Bro, all I'm going to say is, there's thank that's been fucking God. Okay, this is so boring. Thank God Marat's fucking SpaceX, la SpaceX launched satellite actually worked. Holy fuck. You do not launch with Elon Musk. Everyone knows this, okay? Thank fucking God. And that took like eight tries too, so remember that. But oh my God, dude. Imagine if he fucked over my brother's uh, satellite. In the same way that he just destroyed Ron DeSantis' like opening sequence. Oh my god, I would have lost my fucking mind, dude. Holy Have shit. Woke test. And if they don't, they are going against uh, some of those books. Whereas in Florida, you can buy whatever book you want. But that's a different question than what would be appropriate for a third grader or what would be appropriate for a sixth grader. Government by uh -oh. definition has to make those choices. Cat turd is gone. What type of curriculum we want to put in front of our students and the cat parents turd. obviously have an important voice in that. That's my first ever cat turd. Like yeah, absolutely. Well, in fact, uh, uh, we're rocking like, with Trump uh, so, so hard after, after this, boys. A blog called uh, Wait, Wait, But Why, and is really one of the most reasonable people on earth, and one of the most reasoned people I've ever met. Um, had a lot of trouble actually uh, publishing his book, um, simply because it it debated uh, sort of sacred cows of uh, work ideology um but an incredibly reasonable book so um th that that's the, that that is the kind of de facto book banning and de, de facto book suppression that that i see quite a lot of is is that publishers are unwilling to take risks let me let me shift gears here for a second because i know we're running out of time um we're supposed to end i think around four but um four pacific but 
thank you for giving us a little bit of extra time here, Governor. Uh, shifting gears to a major federal issue, immigration, um, we see kind of, I've seen these videos uh, on social media and on TV of what looks like just insanity at the border. Uh, what, what is your take on what's going on there, and how would you address that as, as president? Well, I'd reverse what Biden's doing. You need to shut the border down. You should not be entertaining these asylum claims for people crossing illegally. You know, asylum is a legitimate thing, but these are people that uh, when they come, I mean, they're being persecuted. These people come in overwhelmingly are economic migrants that are coming across many other different countries. They should be applying for asylum there if they were, you know, truly. Um, uh, it's the law. Uh, why are they? they, are, they just show why are the, the border why are the migrants coming to get a job here? Coming illegally. They know just say they, racist shit, you fucking saying, idiot. Okay, come back for a court date and just say something right. Just use a slur. Country. It's an Spice it up. You're system. fucking so, so we'll cooked. Uh, we will move say the B word when referencing like Latin, Latino people or something. Uh, you are so cooked otherwise, okay? Even, even the fucking dumbasses. In like really Louisiana and everywhere, else. even what was the fucking what was the lady? What was the lady who like uh, uh who ran uh Kelly? What was it Kelly Leffler or something? Remember her? That forgettable fucking idiot. Even she had the decency to like stand side by side with white supremacists. No, not Carrie Lake. Kelly Leffler in Georgia ran and stood side by side with like actual white supremacists, so she could get a little bit of momentum going for her campaign. Okay. With the fentanyl, she, he's so stupid. Like he's so dumb. Doing something they probably shouldn't do, but in pr prior generations would not have been fatal. It, it, like you have to throw red meat at your base, you fucking die. idiot. And so just hire me. I will help run your campaign. You are so stupid. Epidemic, and I just don't think you could allow. You're so bad. Uh, You're so stupid. You are going to get fucking cooked. Unless you think Trump so is definitely going to jail. Issue. And maybe uh, you can make an appeal to, like, some centrist Democrats that read the New York Times or something. Is, uh, you're fucking it. cooked, dog. Uh, you're, you're so dumb. Insanity once and for all. The primary base There's wants a, you to say, execute LGBT on site. They don't want you to do, like, this is, whole uh, nonsensical bullshit. Like, no, yeah, technically, yeah. no. Technically, no books are banned in Florida. Like, no, they want you to burn the books, okay? They want you to burn the books. They want you to burn the books publicly and be like, are you triggered now, liberals? This is what I think of your woke ideology. Wait, is it over? What, what's going on? If, uh, if Steve can unmute, then we'll go ahead and ask him for a question. If not, um, we'll we'll keep rolling here. All right, three, two, <laughs> going, going, gone. I'm there, All right, guys. sorry, Steve. I'm there, I'm there guys. Sorry. Oh, there, there you go. Is. All right, yeah. that's, I'm my bad. St um, Steve was cranking it, dude. <clears throat> what Massey said to Elon, um, Elon, if I put down money. On January first, twenty twenty two. Bro, they're more Twitter they're more obsessed the with Elon than they are with Ron DeSantis. This is literally an Elon fuckfest. As rich as you are on that bet right now. I mean, it's incredible what you have done here, uh, and the restoration of a lot of uh, accounts of people that were truth tellers and were ran from here for telling the truth. I saw a meme the other day that said, "Of course, you have scientific consensus." When you censor all the science, I saw a meme the other so day. I wanted to just say this is Ron foremost, DeSantis. Of a lot of great this is Ron DeSantis's campaign. The world, really. Elon is getting uh, throated by a guy who said, "I saw uh, a meme the other day." That cause. Thank you. This is disastrous. Um, a question dude. is a follow-up to you, Governor, on this very issue with immigration. We have heard a lot over the. Let years. me tell you something. Uh, lock her up. Ron is probably so mad as insane. I fucking doubt it, dog. You want to know why? Because he's too stupid to recognize how fucked he is. I don't even think he's pissed off. He probably thinks, oh, this went great. Insurance that you can make to the people that are listening right now, all over the world and all over the country, that you can actually do the agenda that you just articulated when others tweeted about it and talked about it, but then couldn't actually follow through. It's a great question because I shared that frustration. I oh, my God. They're asking him podcast questions. Florida will acknowledge. Oh, my God. They're I asking him podcast bro questions. I don't, I don't make promises or say I'm going to do something lightly. I thought they're going to be like, tell us, tell us about a time where you felt conflicted in your history. They're about to ask him about like fucking PUA one, shit. There will be follow through. Here is two, Red Pill Groper 13. 
44, uh, asking you a question about uh, why women are bitches and should remain in the kitchen and how you will get that, uh, how you will make it happen. Doing the same thing for the federal constitution. And you've got to know how to use your leverage uh, to advance what you're trying to accomplish. So, for example, you know, there's leverage that we can use uh, vis-a-vis Mexico that I think presidents have not been not been willing to, to do, I think sometimes for political uh, purposes. Uh, but I'll look at, okay, what are all the variety of options we can do? Which buttons can I push? And I will do that to be able to bring this issue to a conclusion once and for all. We had Hurricane Ian come through Southwest Florida, Category 4 plus storm, September of 2022. And it did a lot of damage. But one of the things it did, it knocked out a bridge going from the mainland to Pine Island, and it severed the Sanibel Causeway in three different locations. And the locals were being told it's going to take six months to get that stuff repaired. And so they came to me, even though these were not state-owned bridges, and they said, can you help us? And I said, okay, I'll do it. So I got my guys together. I said, listen, no bureaucracy. The idiotic no liberals do not understand that no we know excuses. DeSantis is our best chance of the presidency. No shit. You guys want Trump to win? Back. Dude, that's awesome. You're so fu- later, Dude, they have, so dude, they have Democratic Party style that, followers now in the Republican Party. That's so sick. They got no liptards in the de- in the Republican Party. Sure we got it that's fire. So me, it is not Keep it up, brother. I believe in you. Keep fighting a good fight. Forget about it. I'm as an American citizen. If I wasn't running, this would be an issue that bothers me. I've put a lot of my capital as Florida governor. Another Tim Pool in lock. Combating illegal immigration. We banned sanctuary cities my first year. We just did a strong anti-illegal immigration. Dude, we're about to we're about to get some real. Uh, he I would win if you vote for him. Energy from these the like Coast centrist Republicans, Republicans which I didn't even know like existed. Haiti. I had people at the southern border right now helping Texas, and we've even been able to relocate illegal aliens to places like Martha's Vineyard. So uh, I don't think any governor has probably gone out of his way to do Bro, thinking he's owning the libs? an impact on this issue. Bro, and, he can't uh, even own I'm the medium. No for an answer, and I think our voters are sick of the empty promises. They want to see action. Thank you, Governor. Well, Governor, I saw you, yeah, I saw you cover of Time Magazine this week. And I think they were trying to do a negative story because they had the, the, you were sort of scowling in this uh, portrait. Who are these unfuckable uh, losers, the man? They are so you, bad. Uh, the, the, they compared you to the Terminator. And I think they <laughs> meant insult, but I thought it was kind of cool. I thought it was a good thing because I think we need a cool-headed, ruthless assassin to go in and basically take on the woke mob, take on our out-of-control government, and take on problems like the ones at the border. So, again, I thought it made you sound great, even though that may not have been their intention. Well, look, at the end of the day, this whole business that we're in is about producing results. I don't care about fanfare. You know, I'm the governor. Like, that is – I'm known, right, and I go around the state and everything. And people are very nice, and so, I mean, I appreciate the well wishes, but but I don't need any of the fanfare. I don't need any adulation. I just know I'm in a position where I have a chance. Bro, you got no backers in the Republican Party, first of all. You've paid for a bunch of people to be on your team, but that's it. You're so cooked. first day as governor, four and a half years ago, I looked around the room, and I thought to myself, I don't know what SOB is going to succeed me in this chair, but they are not going to have anything to do because I'm getting all the meat off the bone. Uh, I'm yeah. going to make sure that I'm for a guy who ran as don't say gay as a major policy, I've never seen so many grown men suck each other's cocks to, in front of uh, this many to, people. Uh, okay. Pennsylvania he's getting Africa. sucked. He's doing the Governor, sucking. To, he's getting to, fucked. To he's doing and, the and fucking. Up on that. This it's is a Chris real Rufo, lemon you know, party. Honor okay. With you in the past few years on critical race theory, gender ideology and the DEI bureaucracy. And what I've seen, they have Christopher Rufo on that while many conservative politicians going back decades have Made Christopher Rufo literally lost the uh, Republican culture war. They never actually man. get anything done. And what you've done over the last few years is really astonishing. You've eliminated CRT from all Florida's public institutions. You've stopped gender ideology dead in its tracks in K through 12. And just last week, you eliminated you stopped the gender DEI ideology dead in its tracks, sir. Thank you. They'll be shut down completely. And I think what you've done is established a, a blueprint for fighting back against the left's long march of the institutions and making sure that those institutions reflect the value of Florida voters, not left wing activists and the partisan press. So uh, my question for you is, you know, D.C. is another animal. It's quite different, the scale uh, uh, of the federal government. And how are you going to deliver results and what is your cultural culture war strategy 
uh, facing down uh, the swamp in DC. <laughs> he blowing <laughs> bubbles it on it. Is, oh is, no! Disrespect. When we're taking on things like DEI, you get blowback from legacy DEI. media and the far left. But th that's an example of an issue where they are out of step with the vast majority of Americans. It's not just Republicans. It's independents and a lot of Democrats. Because you think about if you're a if you're a parent and you've got kids. You want to know when they apply to college, they're going to be judged based on their merit. And they're not going to be roadkill in some type of woke Olympics where they didn't fit some category. And so they're denied opportunity. They want to make sure that achievement matters. And so we get a lot of quiet support for a lot of those things. And so I think what I do, just because, look, I'm a blue collar kid. I grew up in the Tampa Bay area working minimum wage to get through school. You know, my grandfather worked in the steel mill in Western Pennsylvania. Um, I just know instinctively kind of what like normal people think about all, all this stuff. And I have a good sense of when the legacy media and the left are, are outside of where the average American is, because people want you to be using common sense and things like DEI. I mean, when I was growing up, I think it, it, things were, were, were better because people were actually told you should try to get along. Now they're told you need to segregate. And it's just crazy that they're trying to do all this stuff. So by eliminating that, um, there's a lot of people that were really happy about that, um, including people that certainly are not traditional Republicans. And I think there's similar issues when you do in the federal level. It's also the case that there are some tools at the federal level that we don't necessarily have at the state level. For example, some of the problems with the university and the ideological capture, that didn't happen by accident, can trace back all the way to the accreditation cartels. Well, guess what? To become an accreditor, how do you do that? You've got to get approved by the U.S. Department of Education. So we're going to be doing alternative accreditation uh, uh, regimes where instead of saying you will only get accredited if you de do DEI, you'll have an accreditor that will say, we will not accredit you. If Bro, you do DEI. We want a color the whole point of like destroying woke agenda shit. Scheme is not for the nerdy bureaucracy of it. It's to fucking own the libs. Okay, if you're over here talking about how I'm going to destroy DEI through the institutional powers afforded to me by the Constitution, nobody's paying attention to that. The people that want you to burn books want you to just say, I'm burning books, you fucking idiot. Stop. This is literally the Elizabeth Warren method, dude. Looking at Bernie Sanders' success and then trying to do the Elizabeth Warren style like, well, we're going to make the military more green. Like, you're so fucking stupid. Moored in a more... Uh, foundational direction about, hey, we're pursuing truth here uh, and we're not here to try to impose one niche ideology on the entire student body. Oof. Great. Shifting gears. Um, uh, Dana Lash, you, you, uh, you have a, uh, a question or comment? Dana is paid for by I the do. fucking and DeSantis thank you campaign. Thank uh, so much for your time for joining us in a very new way. I really appreciate that. I think it's really cool. Uh, and for your support of free speech too. And Elon, I have to say, thank you for taking the arrows and for unthrottling the accounts of all of us who got in trouble for sharing a New York Post story about a laptop. Uh, and Governor- What's it gonna take to for you to stop chewing to the fucking mic? I mean, what's it gonna take for you to shut the fuck up? Oh, you're banned now. Second Amendment rights. And you're on my program tomorrow. And I just gotta say, you got my vote in the primary. So I appreciate it very much. I, you were talking about DEI just a minute ago. Audio and pedophile, I, I be gone. About this growing threat against natural rights and free enterprise. It's this threat of debanking. Now, I know that, you know, Elon, I've read so much about you and what you've gone through. You've called ESG criteria evil incarnate. Uh, Governor DeSantis, Florida, saw financially weaponized wokery earlier this year when Wells Fargo Bank dumped both the business and business and personal accounts of a very prominent and well-respected gun dealer in Florida. They'd been together for 25 years working with Wells Fargo, and they cited new ESG guidelines. Now, similar to the DOJ's previous Operation Choke Point, all these activists for various causes are using this regulatory guidance to debank what they consider to be politically incorrect businesses for the sake of risk management. Now, we say that our rights should not be infringed upon by the government, but what can and should be done about activist-guided financial institutions and these you know, payment processes who fuck? are essentially cutting off law-abiding citizens and businesses? 
<laughs> How will you well, prosecute pay a fundamental issue that I think not enough conservatives have been wise to. I think more and more are. But at the end of the day, we have certain fundamental rights. And so maybe you're somebody that is, uh, you know, really excited about your Second Amendment rights. And obviously, if the government comes in and infringes that, we know you blow the whistle on that. That's a problem. But what if Wall Street banks are colluding? Uh, so that somebody can't function in that space, whether it's running a store or, or anything involving that, your rights are still being infringed upon uh, in that situation. And so I think this whole ESG movement is really trying to do through the financial sector what they could never achieve through the ballot box. And so they're trying to do an end run around the constitutional system, and they're really trying to change policy. They're trying to change society. Uh, and they're trying to change the scope of people's rights. And so in Florida, I just signed anti-ESG legislation, which said things like no ESG criteria in our pension fund. We got a $180 billion state pension fund. Uh, no social credit scores uh, for consumers when they're going to bank. In other words, if you apply for a loan, that loan should be judged based on your credit worthiness, not whether you're genuflecting to the appropriate left-wing causes. Uh, but one thing we did do is we did provide protection uh, against this debanking with the woke banking. Uh, no discrimination uh, based on your religion and other things, which we are we know is happening. So I think it's a, it's a it's a fundamental question. But we will not be a free society if major financial institutions. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. This goes back to my main point of contention with this. Okay, I'm I, I said this like. I said this last year when we were talking about like Ron DeSantis's bona fides, right? Because like Ethan was like very afraid. Austin was very afraid of Ron DeSantis. Do you remember? And I told you guys something even back then. If Ron DeSantis wants to win, he's fucked. One, because he's following Trump's lead, obviously. But like he literally is in a, the, every Republican, as a matter of fact, is in a horrible situation now where their primary audience and the general audience are very different, right? The primary voter base and the general voter base are very different. So if you're trying to triangulate to the primary base and you're actually like advocating for insane policies, you have to be able to have the charisma, like the once in a lifetime charisma, like Donald Trump, to be able to push for that kind of thing. But if you do that, then you're fucking up your chances with the general, uh, with the general voter population, okay? <laughs> And you're fucking up your chances with the Republican Party who wants to prop you up. Okay? The Republican Party is not going to prop you up if you're going freak mode. They're asking about crypto about cryptocurrency? Oh, my God. ...represents a threat to them. And so, as you're saying, they're trying to regulate it out of existence. Look, could Congress enact a statute to uh, ban things like Bitcoin under the Constitution? They may be able to do I would oppose that. Uh, I think we should. You, people should be able to do Bitcoin. I've told the you they're fucking asking in podcast this, bro questions um, now in this in this fashion, and for the bureaucracy to just do it um, on their own and make it so people can't operate in that space. That's what we mean when we say we've got to return the government to the people, as elected representatives who are our voice to be able to make these decisions. Yeah, Trump was barely so, online. He just posted uh, a lot. He genuinely doesn't have the attention span of way deep uh, through the psychotic culture war stuff, even though he uh, probably agrees like, with it. Like Bitcoin. The uh, Santa's operation is all about better, attracting better, and appeasing those online culture wars. It failed with Blake Masters. With it. Uh, but, but Why would it work with Rhonda? I just do not have an itch to have to control um, everything. They're running Blake Masters again. In this space, and I think that the current regime clearly... They have it out for Bitcoin, and if it continues for another four years, you know, they'll probably end up Yeah, he's it. really going to he's really gonna yeah, win the crypto right, maximalist with this one, a big constituency. Listen, man, space, all the crypto maximalists uh, have already that. killed I mean, the themselves because that, their crypto, their shitcoin that they invested into fell apart, and so their wife left them, and the children think they're fucking losers, okay? They can't vote for you because they're dead. They dove into a fucking bathtub with a toaster after their 11th shit coin popped off. What the fuck do you mean? Who? Who Who are you going to run? Who are you running for? The thing is that this administration, they seem to want to ban Bitcoin, but they want to create a CBDC, which stands for a central bank digital currency. You literally uh, just talk what, out of your what, ass, go take a shower, on? you stinky son of a bitch. So we were the first state uh, just last month uh, 
uh, we actually got the Florida legislature to. When I got motherfuckers with this avatar, Florida does not recognize. When I got motherfuckers with this avatar calling me stinky, you know, you know, I'm the most showered uh, motherfucker uh, on the planet. Studying this, we did the. That's your PFP dog. I am literally the most showered motherfucker on the planet. Okay. Well. Uh, you know, we're that's projection. Congress. We'll consult with the executive branch. We don't have a CBDC right now. And ideally, we would get authorization for Congress. Well, wait a minute. It's not ideally. You must get authorization from Congress. I don't think Congress would. Love how angry Assange gets about this. Little brain, big body, Bushido blade. We're trying to provide protection uh, for people here in Florida. I know Biden did executive order. They're studying it. I can tell you, uh, if I'm president, we are not doing a central bank digital currency. I think that that would be a huge, huge imposition on people's financial freedoms and financial privacy. And oh, by the way, what would the logical result of this be if the central authority has oversight over this? Of course, they're going to start imposing ESG criteria. Oh, wait a minute. You, you filled up your gas tank uh, three times uh, this week. You can't, you can't do any more. The sky of how they would be able to manipulate this. So I, I see it as a massive transfer of power from individual consumers to a central authority and i don't think that that's good uh, for a free society so i'm a i'm a no on central bank digital currency Sounds well yeah. thank god them petty online squabbles you want to address yeah you fucking idiots desantis you're so stupid you stupid motherfucker you dumb meatball fuck you what the fuck i thought you could at least have a little bit of fucking life so that this could be a long enough uh campaign for us to enjoy the content of you just fucking what ask him more about memes guys ask him about memes please in november of 2024 god bless everybody and thank you well, thanks, thanks, Governor. And yeah, we have th over 300,000 people in the room. It's really been pretty incredible. And, you know, we started with some technical issues because of the sheer scale of, and unprecedented nature of what we we're doing. But yeah. it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And I think this finished really strong. So, yeah, I think it's just, it's just really oh, yeah, great for dude, copium. the people to hear directly from uh, presidential candidates um, and to have, have it in, in a conversational tone. Uh, which, which obviously results in, you know, it's, it's going to be imperfect because it's not scripted. So, uh, but it's genuine. Um, and I think that that really gives the, the people an opportunity to understand who, who might be their president uh, in a way that's real. So thank you very much for, and, for coming on and doing this. And the invitation's open to any other candidates who might want to do this. A absolutely. Um, it is important for people to hear directly from candidates. So um, thank you for uh, working with us on this his historic uh event and uh uh, yeah, uh, to uh thank you sir and, and just uh, uh this was incredible uh bro all righty everybody thank you for just bye -bye. Right, bro bye -bye. elon elon dick riders are so fucking funny they will never they will never not be entertaining no matter how fucking stupid they are no matter how much i yell at them because sometimes they get too dumb in the chat the idea that like this is history is so fucking funny like fireside chats exist okay number one they, they did not reinvent the medium. They tried and failed to do what radio has been doing for like hundreds of years, okay? They could have done this as a Twitch stream and it would have been more viable and it would have been more successful and more eyeballs would have seen it, okay? It is so fucking stupid. It is so Jover. And even then, it was an embarrassingly small number of people that tuned in, okay? Even at 400,000, that is an embarrassingly low number of people tuning in. I bay... Uh, eBay fucking clears Ron DeSantis and Elon Musk. Remember, that's the entire platform backing him, okay? Cutie Cinderella has had higher viewership. Are you fucking joking? Are you joking? Asmongold has had higher viewership. Get the fuck out of here. Much hype, Ron DeSantis presidential announcement, a disaster on Twitter. Now they're fucking grilling him. Why? Because there's two different reasons. Because DeSantis sidestepped Rupert Murdoch and went to fucking Twitter, okay? So it's like, it, it, of course they're going to fuck him over because now they're like, oh, you're eating crow. Have fun. Have fun with that. Good job on going to Twitter, okay? It's so stupid, dude. It is so pathetic. It's so profoundly stupid that he did this. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know where to begin. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to get. I don't know where to end this. Like, th this is...
preposterous, but also hilarious. Thank you so much. I just want to thank Ron DeSantis for giving us content. I'm a little upset. I'm a little upset because I thought his campaign would have more life in it so that we could potentially, you know, make fun of it for longer. It does strike me as a dead campaign now. Hopefully there's still a little bit more life in it. You know what I mean? Uh, hopefully for our sake. But it is absolutely unimaginably stupid. It crashing was way more content than the actual talk. That was so fucking boring. The talk was boring. Ron DeSantis and the way he has triangulated himself is already stupid. He's like backed himself into a corner. Is he the crazy own the libs guy who's doing crazy fascist policies? Or is he the civility guy who's going to restore sanity? Remember, he started off by saying he's going to restore sanity. Are you Hillary Clinton? Are you Hillary Clinton? He even used the Obama reference. He said, we, might, we must not look backwards. We must look forward. He's got a shit ton of money, though. It doesn't matter. You can have a shit ton of money. So did fucking, uh, hello, Michael Bloomberg had a shit ton of money in the, in the Democratic primaries. How far did that get him? So did that other billionaire guy whose name I forgot already from California. It was so boring. Your viewership wasn't even above normal levels, which basically means it was a normal news day. That's what I'm saying. Now, Donald Trump just released a video mocking Ronald uh, McDonald DeSantis. Let's take a look. We are uh, kind of melting the servers. To freedom and his willingness to put his money where his mouth is, upset the narrative, upset the narrative control, control imposed on, on us by our government. It's over. Have uh, Governor DeSantis uh, make this up. Uh... We're just trying. Dude, there are so many parts of this that you could fucking absolutely rip apart. Like, Talking about memes, talking about cryptocurrency. Are you fucking joking, dude? You didn't vet the people who were going to question you? What are you, fucking stupid? Are you that desperate? Are you that stupid? You really thought this was going to work? Oh, God, he's so stupid. He never had a chance to begin with. Yes. He never had a chance to begin with. That people keep pushing back. Okay. But, like, he buried the, the fraction of a shot that he had. At this point, any money that the Republican Party is giving to Ron DeSantis specifically so that he could be like the guy, a tempered Trump, is already, it, it's done. <laughs> it's time to go. Was I a good campaign? No. <laughs> it's just so stupid. You fucking called it yesterday. Uh, that This was going to have all kinds of technical difficulties. I'm going to be honest with you. That's not that big of a lock. I would say that it would be impressive, but it's not, Okay. I think it was the most obvious log of the century that like Twitter was going to poop and not be able to handle audio for audio for 400,000 people. Like that's crazy to me. Okay. I stream on a platform that gets millions of fucking concurrent viewers every day with audio, with video, with real time chatter feedback. Like he couldn't do a radio show, dude. He couldn't do a radio show, man. They've been doing that since, like, the, the fucking beginning of the 1900s, okay? It's so bad. It's so fucking stupid. And, and, you know, here's the copium. I think it's cool that someone tried something new and circumvented Legacy Press. It's the maiden voyage for this many years, and it won't be the last time. It's not the maiden voyage. It's not. That's the other part of this. It's not the fucking maiden voyage, okay? You could have gone a much better in a much better direction. You could have gone to literally YouTube. You could have gone to fucking Twitch. You could have gone to Facebook. You could have gone to any other platform, and they would have been able to handle this. Twitter was the one out of the major platforms that was demonstrably incapable of handling this. And you went there because you're the type of dumbass who believes in Elon's bullshit. That's it. And that's what happened.
But I love it. I love it mostly because, you know, obviously this is going to be a failure regardless. But I love it also because, like, this kind of, once again, proves that Elon Musk is a fucking dumbass. And I thought, possibly, perhaps, that the Elon dick riders would have seen this as a moment, okay, uh, for, for clarity. They would have seen this as a moment for, for honesty. I really thought that the Elon dick riders would have fucking turned around and gone, okay, yeah, it's kind of bad that he can't even run his own website and promise to do a fucking campaign launch, which is supposed to be historic, and fail disastrously because he doesn't... He fired everyone that knows how to run this goddamn website. Okay? No, I was wrong. Boy, was I wrong. Oh, my fucking Lord. Uh, I posted that. I posted the radio thing, and the Elon Dick Rod has been fucking eating my ass ever since. Uh, it's actually different. It's actually different. Stream to that, then. Multicast versus Unicast, a bad comparison. I might be wrong, but I don't think that the radio was connected to a server that generated traffic by the hundreds of millions of users. Your idiot is showing. That doesn't broadcast. And AM, FM radio technology is much easier than the data service behind a Twitter workspace. Then use that, you fucking idiot. Use that. Why didn't you use that then? Why didn't you use that? You didn't use that because you're an idiot. You didn't use that because you're dumb. They act like websites currently don't exist outside of fucking Twitter that handle... This load. You can't relate 23K Andy. That's hilarious. I'm a fucking singular Twitch streamer. This is kind of exactly what I'm talking about with the rollout suck because of the technology issues, but this is the pure snark theater criticism and not any substance. Eagerly waiting Nate's explanation why never Trumpers should pretend that this DeSantis must rollout was in fact a huge success. Wait, what? Is Nate Silver backing DeSantis? Bro, they didn't even fully understand your argument and ignored that your channel was boasting 225K while the rest of the site was up? Yeah, I. they're stupid. They're incredibly fucking stupid. They bought the blue check mark. Okay? They bought the blue check mark. They're already so stupid. If you bought the blue check mark, then, you know, I, I expect a level of fucking idiocy from you and you're delivering every single time. I just want to know why DeSantis is trying to appeal to and win the votes of weird crypto libertarians when they frequently talk about how they hate voting. Bro, there aren't that many weird, there aren't that many fucking uh, weird crypto guys anyway. Like I said, they all got shellacked. They all got shafted. They don't have money anymore. They're not even a crypto bro because they don't have crypto. BBC radio broadcast 27 million people a week. Not being able to do 400K is sad. Yeah. We had, between me and AOC, we had more than 400,000 viewers. Without a single fucking tech issue. And that was audio and video. If you cannot comprehend how fucking disastrous this is, then society has really failed for allowing simpletons like yourself to survive, okay? I truly don't know how hard you got babied up until this fucking point. Like, literally. It genuinely does not make sense. They are making it seem as though there's no other websites on the planet that can handle that fucking load. Every other website on the planet can handle that. Oh, my God. No child left behind ruin an entire generation. No, these people are stupid, man. They're fucking... They're, they're older. They're dumb, but they're older. They're not like the no child left behind generation. They're like older than me half the fucking time. I live in Florida, and it's the same. It's the best state since Ron has pulled us. You don't know shit about anything. I promise you, you will save real America, you stinky fuck. I think it's shower time. Shower alarm go, man. What? Why does motherfuckers keep saying shower? That's my line. All you do is talk about people in Ron DeSantis, but you never say anything about him. Genuinely a good candidate. You don't want to admit. 
Okay, let's take a look at this guy. Oh, it's fucking Earl Sweatshirt, who I actually know personally and have balled with. He would hate you, by the way. For the record, I just want to let you know, the people that you idolize, I sometimes meet in the real world, and I promise you, if he ever met you, he would think you're disgusting. Dude, it's awesome. There's Ron DeSantis simps. I love this. This is pretty fucking awesome. It's a Nazi dog whistle gas shower, they mean? What? No, they're not. What? No. Ron DeSantis endorsed Kanye. Jew tweets go to his Twitter. You guys act like Ron DeSantis. Wait, what the fuck? Oh, maybe he is a Nazi. Oh, shit. Maybe he does mean gas showers. I hope DeSantis wins. Then the Republicans will have a bigger chance of losing the election. Ron DeSantis is so lame. You got to be far right, at least support Trump. Yeah, that's what I don't get. If you're like far right and you're making like Nazi, uh, you know, shower uh, references, then why aren't you like, why aren't you pro-Trump? You know what I mean? I, I, that, that's actually something I don't understand. Like l legitimately, I want to know. Lol, hop in a call. Yeah, uh, I think I'm good on that. Just answer my question. If you are making, like, Nazi references and stuff, okay, if you're, like, a groiped-up shouty, then why do you like uh, Ron DeSantis over Trump? Yeah, let me, let me hop in a call so you can, like, scream the N-word as your voice breaks numerous times, dude. Oh, let me hop in a call. Yeah, totally, man. Let me do that. Fucking loser. Donald is a loser. Yeah, Ron DeSantis is a fucking loser. An even bigger loser. He's trying to emulate a loser, you idiot. DeSantis is better at implementing fascism. You smell like shit, Ron, over Ronald Reagan. There I said it, LOL. Uh. He's not going to answer. He's a fucking pet. Yeah, look, gave me money for school. He also wear Rick Owens. Yeah, he's just, he's a pet. He's a fucking idiot. He's just trolling. I don't think this person is even, I don't think he meant like Nazi gas uh, chamber style memes. I think he just said that I stink. We love Donald Trump here. You better keep his fucking name out of your goddamn mouth. You hear me? I'll fuck you up, bitch. In the marketplace of ideas, of course. You better not fucking come after my boy Donald. You understand? With some... Bullshit ass Ron DeSantis shit. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Get the fuck out of here, dude. Well, this is a Donald Trump. This is a Donald Trump safe space, okay? Anyway, <laughs> this is an evergreen tweet where he fucking destroyed Elon Musk. When Elon came to the White House asking me for help on all his many subsidized projects, whether it's electric cars that don't, dr don't drive long enough, driverless cars that crash or rocket ships to nowhere without which subsidies he'd be worthless he's right by the way again and telling me how he was a big trump fan and a republican i could have said drop to your knees and beg and he would have done it that's so fire elon would literally drop to his knees and beg right now to get trump back on twitter if trump got back on twitter elon musk would probably be able to, like, return some of the revenue. You being serious? Why do you like Donald Trump? What? I, dude, what are you talking about? Joe Biden will be streaming Fortnite with streamer Ninja. We tried to stream with George Bush, but he kept bombing Tilted, says Ninja. What? No, man, I don't, like, actually genuinely like Trump. I mean, I think he's content, but that's it. Elon Musk, I was on live and five times kicked off. Grr, says Doris Gentry. These are the new wave, dude. This is the new wave of Twitter users, the Twitterati. Oh, 
Fuck, man. Former Vice Mayor Napa, California God Police, MAG account ballots by hand, anti-woke, Mensa, Constitutional's guns don't kill people. Guns don't kill people do. I love her. Anyway, uh, Dana Loesch, who is paid for to be saying this dumb shit. We all talked about the new means of info distribution in the legacy press and left hope that anything this platform attempts fails because it presents a challenge to their control. Okay. Grandma is Mensa, but she's not smart enough to fucking, uh, I don't know, not smart enough to fucking not buy Twitter blue. Okay, let's watch this. Who would you rather have as president in 2024, Trump or DeSantis? As much as they talk shit about Trump, he's probably the best thing for America right now, no cap. Really? Trump. Andrew Dade. My man Trump. He's gangster. I like him. I love him. Why? When Trump was president, nobody really f***ed with us. Other nations respected us. I yeah, no, totally. I think you need somebody in office that got a little bit of gangsterness, a little bit of personality. You need that. Make America great again. Let's go. Who would you rather? Yo, fucking Florida is so stupid, dude. It's going to be underwater soon. It's going to be underwater soon. It's fine. It's going to be underwater soon. Even the website is scuffed. Wait, no fucking shot. There is no way that this is the actual website. What? We've only, we've only just begun to fight for our great American comeback. What is that? The fuck is that? It doesn't make sense. A poker chip with a check in the middle? I know. But, like, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't make... This is the... No shot. This is the website? It's WinRed. I think that's just a donation website, not his official campaign website. Oh, my God. That's got to be a phishing site. RonDeSantis.com redirects there. Wait, what? It says it's not secure. And there's a gator. New Trump dropped about Rhonda, little Rhonda. Oh, we watched this already. But like the problem is he's on fucking Truth Social. So like this is a banger tweet that would have gotten like hundreds of thousands of likes in the same time frame. But unfortunately, because he's on Truth Social, what is this? 7,000 re... 2,000 retrues, 7,000 likes. Like you can't do that, brother. That shit would have blown up on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? Elon's statement. Let's see what he said. All presidential candidates are most welcome on this platform. <laughs> Bro, he wants Trump back so bad. I'm going to do a sexy face, a sexy emoji. Where is it? Why can't I find it? What the fuck? Am I not seeing it? I'll do flushed. Little Rhonda's great comeback, dude. He thinks that he could get... He basically thinks that he could get 
Trump back if he had Lil Ronda on. Doesn't realize that like it was a failure and Trump's just making fun of him. So much chatter about Governor Ronda Santos being socially awkward with no personality and humor. But when I spent time with him recently, I thought he was a personable, smart, direct, funny, confident, and laser focused on doing his job and winning. If I were Trump, I'd be very worried. Why are they standing like that? Wait, why are they? What? Wait, they're both manlets? What the fuck? Dude, dude, first of all, last time a president was under six foot, he was on a wheelchair, okay? Just letting you know. So, pretty sure that already is like a major fucking uh, marker for for big homie over here. Well, little guy. George W. Bush was 5'11". Okay, no one is 5'11". That means he was six foot. Um... Don't say manlets, say short king. No, there's a difference between manlets and short kings. Little Rhonda is a manlet. Noel Miller is a short king. Ay, ay, ay. This is so good. There's a lot that we need to cover, but I do want to go to Fox News Live to see what the fuck they're saying about how disastrous this has been, okay? Dude, if I was Tucker Carlson right now, I'd be fucking shitting my diapies, okay? You are, this is your future, brother. Have fun. New tonight, no deal. The deadline for a debt ceiling vote is just eight days away, and there is- Boo, no boring. Yeah. They're there. That's awesome. Yeah, they're incredible people, man. You saw all the stuff we put in these oh, homes, man. Right? I was I was blown away. And they deserve it. They've heard that this is yeah. not, of course, we give them a mortgage-free home, but mm -hmm. look what they gave up. I they gave up their bodies. So, Cole, why should Americans... Boo, boring. Yeah, we saw the Fox homepage. The assumption as recently as a few months ago was the Sands had a huge advantage in the Murdoch Fox was prepared to go to math for him. Now they're... They're now stressed by a lawsuit, Carlson fallout, facing competition, and he's getting killed in coverage right out the gate instead. Yep. Why did he post his dad's fucking truth on Twitter with the term, with, uh, yikes. God, they're such they're all such fucking losers man let's see what ben shapiro had to say though tonight was a perfect encapsulation of the campaign if you're obsessed with the optics of twitter spaces glitch then you're probably not going to vote desantis if you're interested in political substance desantis is likely your candidate oh my god oh my god oh oh is he writing is he writing for desantis he's so cooked desantis is so fucking cooked dog Oh, he's so cooked. Like, Ben Shabibo was riding for anyone but Trump early on. Just remember, until he won the primary. And then he was, of course, forced into supporting Donald Trump, just like all the other Republicans were. Charlie Kirk was another person like this. At least Charlie Kirk now is smart enough to still be riding on that Trump train and not fucking, uh, you know, take the first ramp off on... DeSantis Avenue. <sighs> so dumb. So fucking dumb. These guys are so stupid. Yeah, exactly. 650,000 listeners crashed the site. The PlayStation showcase today had well over 2 million views and it went fine. Exactly, dude. We saw Trump's statement on the Ronda uh, launch. Musk scores Daily Wire's full set of podcasts to put on Twitter. Oh, God, it's so good. Oh, these guys are so awesome. Anyone that bets on Elon Musk is going to fucking lose, okay? He is a loser. He has only been propped up by people underneath him that have been able to push him aside. I know, I saw the video. Oh, it's a post? Oh, he's coming after. He said, Tim Scott... 
Tim Scott's presidential launch, even with a broken microphone, don't pay the contractor, Tim, was by far the best presidential launch of the week. Rob's was a, was a catastrophe. Oh, calling him Rob is really funny. Oh, dude, it's so good. Calling him Rob is perfect because, like, you have to co you have to correct him and be like, "My name is Ron," and then he goes, "Shut up, nerd." He's so good. Did you go as far as to short Tesla stock? What, man? I don't fucking I don't know, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Elon Musk has been disastrous from the jump. But his fucking dick riders are, are never going to stop. As you can see, people that consider themselves to be smart businessmen still dick ride him on that fucking phone call that was a disastrous failure. People just still, people are too stupid to recognize how stupid Elon Musk is. So maybe it's actually smart. Hassan, give me your market watch picks for my investments. Yeah, I don't even have a fucking credit card, dog. You, you, you're looking for financial advice on the worst per, uh, person. <laughs> Why are there DeSantis fans in the chat? I mean, Americans are stupid, right? So, like... There's always going to be fucking fans of, of anything in here, you know? There's always going to be 20% rides for anything. You can find 20% of Americans to fucking advocate for anything, no matter how stupid they are. You know what I mean? Twenty to 30%. Okay. How do you have credit? I own a house, brother. What do you mean? I pay mortgage. Okay. Um, that ceiling I'm skipping. I don't know what the fuck's going to happen. Um, you know what? Let's do some fun shit. Rally stash. Thank you for the five gifted subs. I'm waiting on some, uh, some backlash from the little Rhonda appearance. I want to see what happens. Like, I want to see what people say. Uh, but yeah, this is pretty funny. Fox News strips Tucker Carlson's studio of all equipment after he announced his Twitter show. They took the set and everything. <laughs> the mail included pictures of Carlson's handling an axe and other equipment on the site while the construction crew gets the studio back into shape. The outlet was also cited as a source claiming several Fox employees have already quit Fox News to join Carlson's new venture. Good luck to all of you fucking racist idiots, dude. Have fun. Um, Talk about Minnesota. I will in a second. Oh, we're going to go back to the to the anti-trans shit for a moment. This is what the this is what uh, an uncharismatic weirdo and the reception looks like when you try to fucking bring up like random transphobia out of the blue at like a uh, at a place where like, you know, actual voters slash donors of campaigns are listening to you. We've got biological boys playing in girls sports. It is the women's issue of our time. Where is everyone? My daughter ran track in high school. I wouldn't even know how to have that conversation with her. How do we get our girls comfortable with biological boys in their locker room? It's not okay. Everybody know about Dylan Mulvaney? Bud Light, right? Make no mistake. That is a guy dressed up like a girl making... Bro, she thought that would pop, okay? She thought that would fucking bang. Dylan Mulvaney? And it's like, no, dude, no. No. What are you, you, you think you're talking to the fucking Matt Walsh fan base, dude? No. Making fun of women. Women don't act like that. Yet everybody's wondering why a third of our teenage girls seriously contemplated suicide last year? What are we doing? Wait, what? That's why? Because trans people exist? What? A third, a third of teenager, teenage girls are trying to commit suicide because... Wait. 
Is that because they, they look at trans people and they're like, fuck, we can, we can never be that OP.